Hello, this is Dacker Triple Seven, and today I'm doing a theme review on a darker theme called Placebo Black Market. It's a pretty cool theme, guys. You guys can see right here. We got the custom start orb, custom start menu, and with the black look. I like it because it's pretty sleek. Um, along with the wallpaper I have included, I think it's a pretty cool look for your guys' computers. To get the theme, guys, you're gonna have to have a patched third-party computer. So if you don't have that already, you guys can go in the description below and get that. And you need to also have Theme Resource Changer installed. All Theme Resource Changer is is a program that allows the, the system make the, the theme maker, sorry, to include folders like Explore EXE, Explore Framework DLL that will automatically change their icons and like this, etc. for you. Like that. So, uh, to install it, guys, open the folder up and then choose which one's corresponding to your system. Now, you have to either open up x64 or x86 to find out which one's yours. Go to the start menu, right click computer, and next to system type, it will say 64 bit operating system or 32 bit. If it says 32 bit, open up the bottom one. If it says 64 bit, open up x64, which is the top one. So once you've done that guys, I'll be using a program to install it called Theme Manager. I highly suggest you guys uh, use this program. Now if you already have it, you don't have to worry. But if you don't, you guys can go to another link in the description which will have just this setup. With this, for a quick overview guys, all this thing does is allows you to easily set up and install themes. And when you apply a theme, you guys can choose, see you can get pictures and organize the themes very efficiently. First, first things first guys, apply wallpaper. So in the wallpaper folder, there is no official wallpaper, but I have included the one I'm using right here, which is kind of an abstract colorish one. And then a bunch of ones that are kind of Ubuntu-ish, in my opinion. So apply your favorite one guys. Then with, when, after having theme resource changer installed in a patch third party computer, Go to install a theme, or you guys can do it manually, but I'll do it here. Give it a name. Now, because we already have theme resource changer installed, you don't have to do much on this part of the theme or on this program. Go to uh, your folder, go to theme files, and then click on dot theme file. Then go to explore frame, and then go down back and go to system files and click on your your corresponding system again, so mine's 64 bit. Then on Explore Frame and click install. Once you've installed it guys, you can go to apply a theme, click on your theme, and then click apply, and this is what you'll get. Now to give it a picture guys, you guys can click on the picture right here. And then you guys can click, say click here to give it a new screenshot. So what I'll do is I'll look at this. This is how I usually pose my computer, I guess you could say. I do that. And then I go. Alright, so just do that. Then, so back when you go to next time you go to apply a theme and click on that one, it gives you a little preview. So that's how you install it with that program. Again, guys, it's a pretty cool theme. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I'll try to make this video quick. I want to go eat dinner. So, uh, thumbs up for that. So that, guys. Have a great day. It's a pretty cool theme, etc., etc. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can message me on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, YouTube itself. You guys can leave a comment on this video. And uh, this uh, theme is actually recommended by one of my subscribers who messaged me saying this is a cool theme. So uh, thanks to him for that. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is Dacker 7 and I'm signing off.